second gear pull for us. Oh my god! Oh, when, oh my god! So today you join me from the driver's seat of Kyle's 2001 B5 RS4. Now I must admit, this is one of my childhood dream cars, this is. And to be driving it today, slightly wet conditions, but it's all right, we have the four-wheel drive for that. So these are a 2.7 litre twin turbocharged engine mated to a six-speed manual transmission. This one itself has done 187,000 miles. Carl himself has actually had this car for 11 years now and he bought it at 50,000 miles. So he's done all that mileage himself, which is mad. So it shows a true testament to how good these cars are. Now I'd say this one is pretty stock apart from a couple of extra bits and bobs that have been put on it. It's had a MRC remap. It's had a three inch Miltec exhaust system put on it. It's had a 413 Bosch fuel pump put in it and it's had aftermarket intercoolers put on it. So now it is running 490 brake horsepower and the only thing that's holding it back at the moment is injectors to go over to the magic 500 brake horsepower. But we have a very nice B road. We have an RS4 Avant, which is just dream childhood moment happening right now in my head. I absolutely love these things and I'm so excited to find out what they're actually like. You get a lot of cars, you know, on the channel and stuff. This to me is like a supercar, but in an estate frock. So you've got the practicality of an estate car, but you have the unbelievable power, the drive and the quality of a very nice Audi. Now there's quite a funny story behind a dent on this car. Carl actually created the dent many, many years ago, but has sort of kept it there as a memento of the time it happened. So I quite like that, although this car is unbelievable, he sort of kept a slight dent on the wing just because he can, just because it's his car and he does what he wants. So guys, a little second gear pull for us. Oh my God. Oh, when, oh my God. When them turbos come in, oh my Jesus, it absolutely flies. When you get to around three, three and a half thousand RPM, it just literally takes off. I can't believe how fast it is for the size of the car. It is very unrelentless as well. It absolutely kicks you in the teeth once it gets up in the rev. So third gear, 3000 revs, right there. Oh my God. <laughs> and you look at the speedo and go, Jesus, is that the speed we're doing? That's unbelievable. Do you know, as a car that lives up to expectations when you drive it, this is one of them and this is one of those cars that I've sort of grown up wanting to see more about you know only an enthusiast would know the wide track the lowered sort of stance of these and the obvious RS4 badging you would know full well what this car is capable of and it's well three and a half thousand revs <laughs> I'm seriously trying not to swear because I'm so shocked at the speed and the pace of this car it makes you realize how good Audi had it back then. And you can see why people love them and you can see why the price of these are going up. I think genuinely, these are a classic, if not a future classic now. And you can see exactly why people want them so bad is because you step in one, you've got more than enough room for everybody, your family, the dog in the boot and all that good stuff. If you want to take it to B and Q, you can fit everything in the back. But then when you're on your own, you've dropped the kids off to school, you potter into your B road, you 
hit that 3,000 RPM. <laughs> that is, that's pretty unbelievable. So as a car that is sort of a dream car to me, a, a fantasy car that I've wanted to drive for many years, it lives up to expectations. It's got everything you could ever want. It's got the sat nav, heated seats, climate control, suede steering wheel, suede gear knob. The looks of just a classic, perfectly proportioned Audi. The four wheel drive system. And as you drop it down, the power to go with it all. <laughs> I just can't believe how fast it is. It's supposed to be a big estate, but, but it just lets you know that that engine is up front. When you press the boost, it's it's like a symphony of Audi. And to me, that's what Audi is all about. The practicality and the niceness of a really nice car. And then putting your foot down to go, holy crap, this thing's quick. Now I must admit the turning in of this car as well is second to none. You have this huge estate behind you, but you just don't feel it. The Bilstein coilovers this is on as well are still very, comfortable there's not a lot of wallowiness from the actual car considering the size so second gear <laughs> the speedo the speedo is hilarious on this it just goes like that it's relatively disorientating because you don't realize how fast you're going until you look down it's still quite comfortable and really it's a, it's a nice place to be but you then see the speedo as you're sort of boosting through the gear and think, bloody hell, we're going some speed now. This thing is really fast. And just remember guys, these are appreciating at the moment. They're an appreciating classic. So if you're gonna grab one, make sure it's an RS4, make sure it's been cared for lovingly like this one. So I must say a massive thank you to Carl for bringing the car down. Very nice of him to throw me the keys to a car that he's had in his possession for a very long time now. And you can see why, what an unbelievable car. You can just do anything in something like this. So yeah, I really appreciate that. And it's sort of one of my dream cars ticked off. So guys, I hope you liked the video. Thank you very much for watching. Make sure you like, share and subscribe for more car reviews. And I'll see you all on the next video. Cheers guys.